hand clap to the massive guys who definitely back again for another reaction on this yeah the one and only mr licks reacts charlie brothers and sisters welcome back to all of mr licks family of course Big up yourself one time, and of course, the no comments are there. Big up yourself for tuning into this year reaction video. Of course, this is where I give my reactions, my commentary, my views. What have you, brothers and sisters, on different things taking place in Dominica, the Caribbean, or the rest of the world by extension? I pretty much did Johnny Depp them stuff yesterday. Of course, congratulations goes out to John Depp. Like I said, if you've not done it for the previous one, give this video a thumbs up for Johnny John Depp, man. For whipping the devil himself. Whipping the devil. All right. Well, all right. Then you say, brothers and sisters. Talk about speaking of the devil, brothers and sisters, we actually have uh, the House of Assembly stuff where, of course, um, Lennox Linton pretty much had to educate some individuals who probably thought that they knew better or probably did not read properly in the first place when it comes down to the situation. But before I get to that, guys, we have Wise and Ebian. We've had um, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Charles, yes. Dennis Charles has a number of things to say right there, and this is what you have to see. I want to move an honorary motion to bestow another doctorate on Honorable Mr. Skerritt. So let it be known in this honor an honorary motion to go bestow back. a... I want to move. She want to move. An honorary motion. An honorary motion for what? To bestow another doctorate. To, the, to, to, to bestow another doctorate. <laughs> But we are doctorate. <laughs> hey, you get in doctorate. You get doctorate. Everybody get doctorate. Just everybody just get freaking doctorate now. Not so. Let everybody come and get a doctorate. Beast one honorary motion. To beast one another doctorate. Uh, an honorary, mind you, an honorary doctorate is not real. But let's bestow. We in com we, we, we comedy central. We, 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 we Halloween man. We disguising ourselves as doctors. Is that not? What they call them? them them, them parent, not them job days, them job fairs, them little job fairs. Let's describe ourselves as doctorates in the building, brothers and sisters. Dennis Charles wants to give another honorary a doctorate to her, 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 her partner in crime. Hon honorable Mr. Skerritt. <laughs> so let it be known in this honorable <laughs> Doctor, doctor, doctor. Yes, boy, look, doctor. No even doctor have them kind of, not even real doctors have them kind of philosophy that Dennis Charles just put there. No even doctors. You ever hear doctor, doctor? I know a partner have two PhDs. He say never doing that again. And he, they still call him doctor, eh? But we want to, boy, look cartoon. We, we, we a cartoon nation. We, we ca you mean you driving that? <laughs> yeah. Yo. That's unbelievable, eh? Real doctors have how much PhDs and all kind of something. They have them doctor, doctor, but no. Scary, it's so good. He don't do it. no type of studies, not what not. <laughs> no. <laughs> but they had to call him doctor, doctor. When he was in Guyana, they didn't call him no doctor, no? They didn't call him doctor, no? But in Dominica, of course, we want to call them doctor, doctor. And then, of course, she, I'm, 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 what's her name? Dennis Charles wants to go. Another one, she wants to say three doctors. <laughs> You want to doctor, doctor, doctor. Run over Rose Boy, eh. Run over Rose Skerritt. She said it, you know, guys. Not me, you know. That is Pali. That is House of Assembly, brothers and sisters. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Run over Rose Take that. We don't get opposition. Why should the opposition take that? Why? I don't get it. Take it, doctor, doctor. Well, call him five doctors now. Put doctor squared. <laughs> Put doctor squared. <laughs> you want to say doctor squared, honorable Roosevelt scary. That's what all you should do. Because that don't make any sense at all. It's bare comedy that there. That's why people don't take anything or should not take anything that individuals say. I'm seriously there. Including this one. Right there, brothers. I want you guys to listen to this. Mr. Speaker, this facility for which we are seeking approval is a disaster risk management development policy loan with a catastrophic deferred option. Listen to that again. With a catastrophic deferred option. Mr. Speaker, this catastrophic deferred option will allow the government to secure a loan which it could draw down immediately in full or in part in the event of a disaster. Brothers and sisters, I, want you, I hope you guys are paying attention, you know. Pay attention to what he just said there. We'll allow the government to... Hold on. Mr. Speaker, this catastrophic deferred option... This catastrophic deferred option... 
will allow the government to secure a loan. Will secure a loan from the which by the government. Which which what? Which include a drawdown. Which includes a drawdown. I don't know what my my thing just do there. I don't know what he just do there. But hey, hopefully, let me stop that, guys. I don't know what happened to my camera. Okay, guys. So I think we're back right there. So drawdown, including a drawdown, brothers and sisters. Let's continue. Immediately, in full or in part, in the event of a disaster, this arrangement would be in place for a period of three years, with the possibility of renewal for another. For years. The addition, Mr. Speaker, of the catastrophic deferred option. He said it again. Listen again, guys. Mr. Speaker, of the catastrophic deferred option would result in maximum available post disaster financing as follows. Anyways, let's continue. Let's listen to what Lennox had to say as a result of what he just um, reiterated there. Authorization for a credit facility from the International Development Association, IDA, for financing of a disaster risk management development policy with a catastrophe deferred option. What is that? <laughs> a catastrophe deferred option? You're seeking to defer the catastrophe <laughs> with the loan from the IDA? What, what, what is the... It, sa it says here, with a catastrophe deferred option. I understand by that that you're seeking to defer a catastrophe. You're seeking to defer a catastrophe <laughs> with the idea alone. Can you do that? You can defer the catastrophe? Mr. Minister? So what the other partner was trying to say there, he was pretty much saying that you can take the catastrophe and defer it as a result of the loan that you will receive, which doesn't make much sense right there. Now, you know, also assembly, you have to pretty much prepare your notes and whatnot. Why then did he end up with this saying? Catastrophe deferred option. So you have the option to defer the catastrophe. Are you, member, are you asking a question to have a... Look, the table speak. Let's skip, mister. I don't, mister. Hold on. He mute, he mute his mic. I don't know why he mute his mic for, but anyways. Mr. Speaker, this resolution is before the House. <laughs> and it is asking for authorization for credit facility from the International Development Association, IDA, for financing of a disaster risk management development policy with a catastrophe deferred option. And I'm saying, for the benefit of the other side, and for the benefit of you, Mr. Minister, you had the opportunity to talk, you chose to get up and try to ridicule me. There is no such thing as a catastrophe, the food option at the IDA or the World Bank. And that is on the headline, you know, brothers and sisters. That is on the headline, but according to Lennox, there is no such a thing as that right there. Let's continue. Oh, okay. There is no such thing as a catastrophe, the food option, at the World Bank or the IDA of the World Bank. The facility is called a catastrophe deferred drawdown, drawdown option. option. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> and none of you all saw that the papers you were bringing to the parliament this morning for consideration and debate was missing a key word. Maybe they didn't read. Copy and paste. You know, it might have drawn I wouldn't call Octavia name. It reminds me of Jonilia. Copy and paste from Google and come and say thing. And, um, <laughs> no, I don't think you copy and paste from Google. No? Mm -mm. You probably read something and make up your own thing because you didn't understand what you read and decided to put it out there and come and read for people. It happens sometimes, man. The key word is drawdown. It's a drawdown option you have. Not, a, not an option to defer the catastrophe. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> and, and so if Lennox, so even Lennox teaching them So you see how, that is one of the reasons why I tell you guys I like Lennox, you know Because if it wasn't for Lennox, a lot of the things that they are saying We would not know, a lot of the things that go on behind closed doors We would not know them And that is of course the right role of a opposition Some people believe that the opposition is supposed to give you house 
or, or, or put things in certain things, the opposition is supposed to hold the government accountable to the things that they tell the people. Can it remind you of Dominic, not true? And when the government says say that things should be cheaper for the Dominican people, we'll get to that in a moment, brothers and sisters. We'll get to that. <laughs> just, just because I'm now, I'm now of the view that you all didn't bother to read of course the not. documents that came before the parliament today. I did not just read, understand what they were saying. Or you all didn't bother to educate yourself on what this catastrophe deferred drawdown option means. It's a contingent financing line that Big provides drawdown. immediate liquidity Big following drawdown. a natural disaster <laughs> and a health event. Checks. That's what the World Bank provides for its its members and customers all around the world. It is nothing special. So in other words, if there are certain things that are happening, you have your checks, okay? Houses need to organize, we'll provide funds for that. Roads are mashed up, we'll provide. So it's a drawdown of the different things. The Dominica, as I heard somebody trying to suggest, it is one of the one of the facilities we are creating. Is that no facility you're creating? That's what they're telling the Dominican people, making them think that it is the domin is is they that creating this thing. When is the World Bank them that have these things? It's an option provided for the disaster relief. Really, um, 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 the Rona kind of situation that happened and so forth. Look, it happening again, guys. Okay, it stop. I don't know why it does do that. Anyways, let's continue. It's available from the World Bank. And funds, funds become available when disasters happen. Disbursement after the drawdown trigger, typically the member country's declaration of a state of emergency that is met. <laughs> and this CAT DDO, just for information of the House, it's part of a broader crisis management toolkit, which is available from the World Bank, and which includes the crisis response window. There's also the pandemic emergency facility. I just said that. There's also well, technically. the immediate, the <laughs> intermediation of disaster risk management products, such as bonds, derivatives, and insurance. So it can help build back. To begin. As we start at the beginning, let's get the terms correct. There is no such thing as a catastrophe. There is no such thing as a catastrophe deferred option. There is a catastrophe deferred drawdown option, which is what we're discussing today. So please take a note in committee to change the the wording. <laughs> Correction. Mr. Speaker. So this is him. I, I rise with your permission, Mr. Speaker, to wind up the debate. On this very important resolution. The reason why I put that there, guys, because I just want him to admit it. You know what I mean? Admit it, man. Before this honorable house, namely authorization for a credit facility from the International Development Association for financing of a disaster risk management development policy with a catastrophe deferred drawdown option. There we go. That's all I want to do here. Anyways, Carrot is in the building, brothers and sisters. Just because all of us in this country would have experienced a burial. And many would have experienced Erica. And in respect to Erica, I think of the... Res I was there for Maria, I wasn't there for Erica. ...residents of the Dan Pitizaban community. And also of Juby. All of whom had to abandon their investments, their homes, their properties, and to seek shelter at the grammar school and to seek shelter at the special secondary school. Now I know some of you guys tend to turn off the videos when, when Scarit comes in because I can see the drop <laughs> in the analytics. When Scarit comes up, people seem to drop out or they skip Scarit's pattern. But guys, the reason why I'm showing you guys this is so, so that people can get the full scope of understanding when it comes down to this thing. Now we know Scarit likes to say a lot of things, brothers and sisters, and you know why I come in. We want to, I don't want to put him down, but let's see what he said, if it makes sense at all, okay? So let's continue right here. So you talk about giving homes and what have you, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. In respect to Maria, Mr. Speaker, everybody in this country was impacted. You said that a while ago. lost so. all what they have worked for. And it is very, very disheartening and disturbing for a member of parliament to stand there and all and appear to be ridiculing 
the issue of climate resilience and, and building that kind of capacity within our country. Oh, you're talking about ridiculing and what? Let's, let's continue, let's continue. You know, <laughs> it, is, it is totally mind boggling But... But Scary normally uses these words when he wants the, 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 the Dominican people to think that something else is happening. Remember guys, Scary doesn't have to convince everybody, you know. He just has to convince his people to stay with him. That's all he has to do, you know. That's all. With the very people that are feeling the blunt of what his decisions have done for the country. But hey. These things, you know, when we speak about governing the country requires empathy. It requires love for the people. <laughs> and it requires people who are prepared to make sacrifices and who are prepared to do what it takes to build this country. This is why we say within this country, the only political institution that is willing and ready to perform this task is the Dominican Labour Party. It's rather interesting that he's saying this, but in hindsight to actual reality, aren't you the one who is bringing up people's electrical bill? Even though you tell them that you are actually going to decrease the electrical bill. Moving from last year, January 2021, to now May, well, now June 2022, well, we saw the, the last records was up to May. It is from 20 cents to one dollar, 23 cents to about a dollar and something, dollar and one cents or something like that. That is what you guys caused. When you took over Domlek. Okay, guys, we're back. <laughs> My camera, man, I tell you, I don't know what's going on here. But anyways, guys, isn't that what you guys cause? Isn't that what you're talking about the best love and empathy for people? I never know people have empathy when you can actually decrease VAT on electricity and VAT on gas to then put the less in the blow on the people. But no, you decide you want to maintain VAT so you can make more money on the people while telling them that you are trying for them to pay less by increasing prices because of the world market when you can simply decrease VAT just like me and Motley them did in Barbados. You can't tell me they're working because that's what they did. They can decrease VAT. You guys can... VAT is totally in your control. No. Weren't you guys responsible for the depletion of jobs? And then as a result, you guys had to bring in NEP to help slow down the process of unemployment rate. To slow down, yes, slow down the process of the rising unemployment rate. So you have to create something. You know, you have people working on the side of the road. Banks and those places... All kind of different, and I know it's true, you know, where I went in shops and it's NEP that paying people or the NEP is paying half of, of a certain, certain um, 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 profession in certain um, businesses while the other, the company itself is paying the other half. Because if that was not the case, then they would not be able to pay it as a result of the economy that you guys caused to go down. Nobody else is to blame. Bahamas went to the worst hurricane, more worse than Dominica. And look at them, they're elevating. Ross University, a p branch of, well, not really branch of, but some individuals working from Ross. And guess where they went to Bahamas to start their own school? They went to Bahamas, they are Dominicans who are working there. So you cannot tell me it's a lie. They are Dominicans working in Bahamas in the new school from um, professors that were working at Ross. But we doesn't think properly. Said Lucia, them selling agriculture, doing all kind of things. Look, me and Motley Barbados. <laughs> Help me, father. Me and Motley and the Guyana partner, the prime minister of Guyana, whatever, president, whatever is his name. They link up together for them to do what? Become food. <laughs> like food producers. <laughs> for the Caribbean. And you hear the Prime Minister's speech talking about he's selling things to, to America and, and, and England. How come they can't sell it to Caribbean? So you couldn't link up with them for you to do something like that? Why me and Motley? Barbados? Barbados is not an agricultural nation. But let me continue. Eh? Let, me, let, me leave, let me leave that there. But then you're talking about the best team to run Dominica. Run Dominica down. It can't be up. Because it's down Dominica going. Even when you look at the agricultural statistics, which I shared in another previous video, 
When man wanted to come and tell me we're selling over 200 million dollars for you in agriculture for you. When I show them the stats now, 18 million in total for exports. 18 million in total. And that is not full agricultural exports. My partner tell me 200 million dollars per year. Yes, I tell you boy, like logically thinking bro. So you mean to tell me that Dominica is doing far better now in agriculture than it was doing 10, 15, 20 years ago? And he tell me yes to my face. Ah! Ah! I must have again to carry the way. The two centers that we commissioned last week, <laughs> one for over $18 million, one, one for over $13 million, places us in a better situation. How? Oh. Oh, I, I myself don't know what you're talking about there, but the question is how? Because there's a lot of things that you say in placing Dominican in a better situation, we try to find out how it is better for us, we have no idea. The several thousands of families that we have housed across Dominica. That's because you kill the economy and they cannot do it, therefore you have to do it for themselves as a result of the CBI funds that you are taking on behalf and on the basis 2.3 billion, 1.2, 2.3, 4.3 billion dollars, apparently nobody can account for it seems. And you want to talk about providing houses for people? You're going to use that as your track record, not realizing there's a cause and effect to the decisions that you've made for the people. Make them dependent on you, so therefore they'll be loyal to you because you give them house, and if they're not loyal, you can then kick them out. Or they'll have to stay quiet. Hush your mouth. Even people are scared of their jobs because if they talk, then they know something might happen to them. I remember when it was in Portsmouth and them police officers come and ask me what I'm doing, you know. One of them tried to do research and realized he's dead and not there. I know what all you're doing, me. They call him Mr. Licks for a reason, you know. Anyways, let's continue. In resilient homes. Those resilient homes? Which resilient? You bring the pity of people, pity savan to, to wherever you bring them. I forget his name. You bring them there, you don't give them no house, their, their titles. You don't even give them residential titles. Siri, them have been looking into that up to now, they don't get nothing. People have come out and talk about it on Siri exposing video. And of course, no titles have been given. So therefore, they can't even say, boy, let me go and take a loan to send my daughter to school or something. They have to come to you. <laughs> they have to come to you to go and get it because, and if they don't go through you or they don't have money and whatnot for them to take their house and put it on loan for the doctor, for the, the child to go to school overseas or something for their ed education and what have you. They have to come to you. And if they're not loyal to you, nothing going for them. Boy, look things, boy. Hey, it's a cycle. Anyways. This person don't need to go to any shelter anymore. What are you talking about? Go, they're not going to shelters anymore? You forget when you build the houses for those people in Peter Zavan. I mean, forget what. You forget when you build the houses for the people in Peter Zavan. And they go to the houses. The houses was leaking with a little bit of rain. The houses were leaking. You could see the conditions. They were depleting and whatnot. There was a guy who was showing that his house was literally leaking inside. Hurricane resilient on a little rain and then they're going outside and you see the mud falling in. Big puddles of water outside. On a little bit of rain. People complain about taps not working, this and this thing, thing whatever breaks so easily, all kind of things. And we talk about resilient homes, man. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just a few houses that happen to but if that happened to a few houses and the same materials they're building, does that mean that the other houses are defects too? I don't know guys, what are your thoughts man? As opposed to Maria, when Maria came. The construction of the health centers in a resilient man and the smart health centers. Hey! Which smart health centers? Because you put solar light on top of a build, solar, solar and you put light in a building that help in, 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 in the electricity and, and problems. Which of course is not helping the people at all, it's helping the hospital pay less bills. Well, I guess technically you can say, but then it's the people's, if you give $1,000 every month for taxes, every year for taxes, and the hospital then pays, let's say, $1,000, and you're giving $1,000 every year for taxes, you're still giving the $1,000 every year, you know, even though the hospital paying less light bill, you're still giving the $1,000 every year for taxes. 
So the hospital pays less while you're still giving the same amount, which means more money going in other places. True, that is a good thing. But on the basis of how does that help the people? If they cannot, they come inside. What happened? They come inside the hospital to do their homework. Children coming inside to do, you sit down on the table to do their homework inside the hospital because they are solar lights or something. You talk about smart, smart hospital that have nothing to do with the elevation of the people when it comes down to actually helping the people in medical, um, um, in a medical way. Or Medicare, medical uh, uh, um, facilitations to them. Smart hospitals. Light going on and off when nobody in the motion sensor lights. AC, smart AC, I guess. Well, all you reducing is it. I don't understand these things. And then you come in and tell us people those kind of things uh, for them to swallow and believe. Because it sounds believable. With help from power and own resources. Thank God, uh, thanks from, from, for power for providing the this, this solar lights and what have you. Don't get me wrong, guys. But it's not a smart hospital if it doesn't help the people better. Are the people able to go to the hospital and say, yes, guys, we are functioning better, we are at higher capacity, better quality of services to the people out there. As a result of that, we can then consider ourselves being smart or smarter. But you're talking about solar light and AC. No oh, man. Actually, Marigold Hospital. Well, thanks for building the Marigold Hospital after so long. And it wasn't you guys. It wasn't a, con a contribution by, by Mexico or one of those places that helped build the hospital. Well, I don't know. But I know it's not Dominica. Anyway, it's not CBI that built the hospital. True or false? Let me know in the comment box below. And the Marigold Health Center are all part of the resilient build. And what we're doing here, and, and, and Minister of National Security did not say that this facility was created only for Dominica. He said that we in this government have created our own facility. Our own facility, Mr. Speaker, that has been placed at the central bank. And this facility was created in the height of the pandemic, which speaks to the fiscal responsibility of this government, Mr. Speaker, under especially under difficult circumstances. But with difficult circumstances, how does that help the people? How does it help the people? Guys, name one thing you can say that the Dominican government, have they provided stimulus packages? I know they provided some sort of banana fig and thing in, in yellow black bag to give people, they're giving farmers. <laughs> Them farmers making noise, they have banana and fig in a yellow bag. <laughs> Saying that the stimulus package that they check it, they can produce that in their own farm. Like giving fish water and fishing water already. It's interesting. But they can say they can they give something true or false. <laughs> and we've been saving for rainy days. It is always a good practice that the government and individual families and businesses must practice. Nothing wrong with saving for rainy days, you know, that's a good thing. And we've been saving half a million dollars every month. So now we have about ten million dollars in the account. Half a million dollars every month half a million dollars every month and you have what 10 million dollars so that means you are saving for 20 months you were saving for 20 months as a result i guess i guess since um or um uh, the pandemic started well i can't say that but i guess since the whole situation started that you started saving but the question here is guys and i think i'll end it right there the question here is not necessarily you saving but will you keep that money you save for actually what it's needed for? Remember you were saving about $20 million, I think $20 million or $10 million per month for the international airport. And when they went back to find out where that money is, is is a hundred and something dollars that remain in the, in the, in the account. And people trying to find out where exactly that money go. So you come in and say the same thing you said steady before, understanding the record that you have previously, does not mean the same thing can happen again. You stated that you were saving money for the international airport. Grass, bare grass. I saw cattle there too. Cattle eating grass on the international airport at present, brothers and sisters. Well, not at present, on me, day. <laughs> cattle eating grass on the place that they say they're going to be doing the international airport. I myself don't know how they can do it because you can have an inter interesting slope and they have to cut down mountain and things. But hey, that's possible. But that doesn't seem like it's going to be starting anytime soon. 
Because grass, remember when they started digging up and saying, people, hey, things are happening for people. Woohoo! Grass take over deep field. <laughs> so how do we know that 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 ten million dollars that you have saved up will actually come in handy to the people? Oh. And you cannot say that you use that money to help. I don't know how you use that money to help. Because people didn't get stimulus package. They got two or three hundred dollars, I think, or some three or five hundred dollars from the World Bank, I believe it is. And you gave some people that kind of thing, and as a result, certain people were able to do something. It wasn't from that money it came from. It came from the World Bank. It came from outside. World Bank. I think it's from the World Bank, but it came from out. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But I believe it came from the World Bank. The World Bank was offering grants and whatnot, and they were giving, you know, certain people a certain amount of monies. I know some of my friends got some of that monies as a result of the World Bank. It wasn't because of that. So it cannot be you taking the money and give people these things. The city international airport money and, 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 and no, that doesn't make any sense. Guys, help me make sense of that situation. How does that help in the whole aspect of things, man? How does that help, man? Saving monies, where did that money go? Where exactly did that international money go? Now you're talking about saving up and now you have $10 million save up. Who's to say that that money is going to stay there? Who's to say that you're probably saving more than that and hope you can, how can people hopefully let us them look into that to see if that is true? Because that's their job, to hold the government accountable to the things that they say. If it wasn't for Lennox, then we'll never know that the international monies, the international airport monies had disappeared. It's not only that came out and said it, you know. It seems like only lying. When you don't want something to somebody to catch something, you don't say anything until somebody say it, then you say, oh, $168, I think, or 100 and something dollars remain. Or 30 millions of dollars is they put in every month to build the international airport. Then come and lie and say the Chinese will fund it. Then come and say again that, that, man, I tell you, boy, I tell you. Now you see CBI funding it now. A billion dollars signed contract was given to um, whoever, Anthony Hayden, or whoever is his name. Grass speaking of international airport, though you talk about it on our phone, another phone you want to think, really? Okay, well, I guess if that's what the people want to believe then. And once the fiscal situation in Dominica gets better, we will increase the amount so that. What but you said the same thing. <laughs> you said it. Guys, I give up, man. I give up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box, comment, 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 comment box below, guys. Don't forget to download the app right there for you to get the wide scope of different things. Ariel Dominica, Miss Telix Vlogs. Um, reactions, BRB, PTV vibes, guys, we're gonna be hopefully doing some stuff. There's an inter interesting guest that came down to Dominica. Hopefully we get to bring him on the, um, um, on BRB, PTV to find out his different th talks. And of course he has a, a business that is pretty successful right there. We'll be talking to him in this regard. You'll get to know what that is in a moment on BRB, PTV. So don't forget to go and subscribe to that channel as well. And of course this channel as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you understand, if you want to see more. Like I said before, like I said before to the newcomers, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notification by clicking the bell and click, click all, then click all so you can get all the notifications when they drop right there. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Boom, bang.